another tyrant here and I just finished watching episode 6 of After the Rain. <sighs> One thing before I will say anything. So the way I watch uh, this anime is through the um, through uh, Amazon Prime like thing and for almost 24 hours it was listed on their thing subtitled unavailable and it bugged me so much like I really just wanted to watch the episode but I couldn't like why why Amazon why oh my god uh, that's my only gripe at the moment not about the episode itself just um just my everlasting disdain for having a show on there but I can't watch it Oh, besides that episode, I really liked it. It was really fun. Um, so we're expanding the cast a little bit more and getting to know more about uh, Tachibana and a little bit of her past and her friend. Uh, fuck, what's her name? Oh my god, what's her name? I can't remember the 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 name of the girl who she used to run with when they were little. Apparently, they were like their childhood friends, and um, you know, she kind of got. Uh, well, I'm just the childhood friend for the moment because I can't remember her name. Um, I think her name was... I can't remember her name. But anyways, um, you know, she was a... Uh, she kind of got her into running and everything and just really, really enjoyable flashbacks. Uh, for the most part, I'm, I'm hit or miss on flashbacks. Uh, for this one, it was a good understanding of their friendship and everything and it was really uh just <laughs> fun to watch uh but then here's the thing that got that's kind of surreal about this episode so you have these two people who are who have been friends since childhood and you have been doing something together and then now it's hard for them just to kind of just talk to each other after so long because they've it's track and field have been their thing you know they've, they've been friends they've they've done stuff and then they got in really close in this one activity and now everyone's kind of doing their own lives i like how during during the couple first uh first sections of this episode you know the show just kind of just shows how life goes on oops life just goes on and it's i really like that because you know it just things happen and you just move on and stuff like that and and also just showing their awkwardness of them kind of like it's weird and i actually i fully understand each of their stance uh like with uh, some of my friends, it's I like often only see them every once in a while. Like, and when I say that, I mean like on a monthly basis due to our schedules and our lives and stuff like that. So that moment when you kind of just want to meet up in just kind of a social space is kind of awkward. And when I saw that, I like <laughs> that was really well done, and um, I found it uh, actually. It's enjoyable to watch because it's so real and it just it just it just felt right it felt awkward but felt right in that sense um bonus point we also got to see <laughs> little uh tachibana and since she's so adorable and it's really fun uh for the most part when i was trying to find a screenshot for this episode for for my thumbnail i there's a lot like I said, this show has a lot of amazing scenes, and uh, and I think I'll be using the <laughs> the young Tajibana because it's, it's just so fun to watch. Uh, but yeah, seeing these flashbacks were really enjoyable. Um, what else? Hmm. Um. So I like how they kind of it's not fully resolved. But I like how uh, her childhood friend still is, you know, she's trying to connect still and, uh, you know, and 
it's good because it does doesn't make them like they still have uh if uh, if you remember they do kind of the um, they're on the bus heading to school for remedial class and everything and well her for track uh you know they kind of still do a kind of common talk with each other you know they're still friends but you know they're not as close as they were and i like how like after that you know they they do this whole uh the child friend kind of tosses the gachapon uh little pop things and it's like right there just kind of stating you know you know that their friendship is not just track and field you know they're still friends and uh, uh hopefully that will continue that will be some positive moving forward into the uh coming episodes and we'll see how that turns out uh now to kind of finish up the episode well she's you know heading home and everything she's got caught up in the rain um and she just kind of winds up at the library and bumps into uh mr Mo Moon mundo and um and you know he's there he as we've now learned from last episode and now a little bit more clarification he's into pure literature i'm not quite sure what that is i'm gonna look it up later um but he's they're there and she's kind of trying to get a known a little bit more so she kind of asked for a recommendation of what he should read but he kind of goes a little bit like not existential but a little bit more uh uh luxury by saying you know you know you should try to enjoy a book that you would want to read so you don't force yourself to read something and i fully understand that you don't you don't want to force yourself to do something you don't want to uh and then it just kind of ruins it it, it happens to me sometimes also when i'm kind of doing these reactions like i don't want to force myself to watch a show just to make a video like i want to enjoy the show and talk about it to the best of my ability um so um i fully understand where uh, Mr. Mundo is uh, coming from when she, like letting her know you know just to enjoy and find something that you'll find enjoyable at your own pace and uh, we get kind of this nice smooth transition throughout the uh, library and just her just trying to find something kind of in this quote unquote sea of, of literature and it's um enjoyable watch to a point where uh where she finds this picture book uh we later learn it's a a running book uh which makes sense it's kind of her, her it's her passion that she now lost uh but what's very i want to say ominous but very impactful this will got me so we get we get at this point at the end where uh you know we find you know we know that mr mundo can't uh, check out books but he's not from the area so he offered uh tachibana offers to get him a book and blah 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 but there's this book that catches his eye and um it just kind of blinks him out and it's i'm like what's happening say something i need context something just give me something and i'm like nothing they're just kind of walking home until they take their part parting ways and i was like what the fuck? give me something and i'm like losing my mind just trying to figure out what's happening and then and then out of nowhere we just get a name and this is just speculation it sounds like this is probably one of his like old loves or something who became a writer or something but that's just my fucking but it's still i was losing it like what is happening like i just want more context now i just want to see next episode to get more um more what's happening but yeah <clears throat> like i'm glad that they're expanding the world it's not just focusing the on um, these two like you know that's what we that's what the show is entailing you know we get these two but there's still a whole other world around them and they have their own things to do there's other people and i'm glad that they weave it in like nicely and 
for this episode, even though it took me over 24 hours to be able to watch it, I'm glad I, it came. I'm going to probably end up rewatching it in a little bit after I'm done posting this video. Uh, but it's a great step to move forward because they're just setting up little things. And yeah. Uh, I think I'll leave it at that. Uh, there's probably more I could talk about, but uh, more than happy that I got to enjoy watching it. And oh, yeah. So thanks again for watching. Until next time.